Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Korea, where we just finished the annexation of Japan. I wanted to keep them as a little Japanese petting zoo area up here, like maybe in Tokachi. The problem is, or was, he was stealing a ducat of trade. And he's no longer stealing a ducat of trade. I think it's a better situation. At the end of the last episode, we switched our merchants over. Instead of collecting a Nippon, where we're making about 12 ducats, we switched our merchants over to push trade to Beijing and collect in Beijing. I think I'm going to move my trade capital there as well, because we're, we're going to take over this trade node for sure, and I want them to push to uh, Beijing. You can see right now we're pushing 3.4 ducats. It's not that good. Um, and I don't have enough points to move my trade capital to China yet. 207 points. Not yet. Soon, though. Soon. All right, so with all of our ships here, we have um, a decent amount of trade strength. But you can see, Wu just has more. Where's Ming? I think Ming's dead. Yeah, Ming has been deleted. Does that mean I can release Ming? I can release Ming. Ming is dead. So Wu got another nice province. 20 development, Hefei. Congratulations, Wu. Our spies are currently working on Ryuku. So we're collecting 13 ducats in Nippon, our capital node, and we're collecting 8.7 ducats here. And we'll get more once Mongolia is the next. I think it's a pretty decent setup, to be honest. We'll keep it we we'll keep it this way for now. Stealing from Wu feels good. Stealing from Wu feels great. Uh-oh. Shun versus Oirat. Actually, it's Shun versus Yarkand. Yarkand has declared on Shun. Go Yarkand! Go Yarkand! Now, if any of you feel like we shouldn't go attack Ryuku, let me know. Now is the time to speak up. Hey, my heir died. My 602 heir is dead. We no longer have baby. Okay, hopefully we'll get a nice baby. Give me a good baby. Which means... Oh, there we go. Hey, we had a 602, and now we have a 632. Fantastic. Ah, we need a name, though. What would the son of Shenru be? Shen Jr.? Perhaps? Ryuku lies matter. Well, what we could do, we could make him a vassal and then force convert him. That would work. Nah, I just want to conquer him. He's part of my state. Name him Ryuku. <laughs> Potato head. Pog champ. Name him Arumba. No. Arumba has kids. I don't have kids. So he can name his heirs after his kids. I guess I can name it after my cats. All right, we'll name it after the cats. Uh, Deimos. Deimos Jung. He's got a strong claim too, which is great. All right, come back. Give me a claim on your only province. Fund the army. Austria is the emperor. Okay, congratulations, Austria. We need to update our ships, our trade ships, but it's going to cost me like 500 ducats. So we'll save up a bit. Also, we have no general. Let's make a general. Actually. Wow, trading in tea is really nice. We are now trading in tea, which gives us 10% cheaper advisors. And we're trading in Chinaware, which is more legitimacy. That's kind of cool.
What's our tradition? 27. Yeah, I'll take a 27 tradition guy. Hey, a 3-2. Not bad! Considering we're entering the era where fire becomes good. That is a not bad thing at all. Let's go! Alright. I'm probably just going to lower the autonomy here and leave a, leave a stack on his face. Because they will rebel. I might even convert it before we core it. No, we have to core it first. Because of corruption. And that is where corruption sucks. Is that you, You're forced to core stuff before you convert stuff. Die, motherfucker. Okay, well, then. Well, he tried. I'll give him that much. He tried. Got no siege pips. It's okay. There's no rush in that war. Now, our truce is up with Wu 1617. Uh, yeah, I guess what I can do is hold off on the spying. I, I don't need any more claims. I can hold off on the spying until a little later. How are things going? Pretty good. 36. How are you doing? Are you fabricating? Hell, look at this guy. He's fabricating like a champ. Oh, he wants this province. You can have it. He wants Wu Chang as well. And Xi'an. Wow. He wants some really high development shit. This guy's a greedy motherfucker. I'm glad you're my vassal. I love greedy vassals. And look at Mongolia refuses to fabricate down here. Such a little shit. Ryuku will wreck your face, Shen? I don't know about that. Let me know when they're going to wreck my face. I'll uh, I'll put, a, put on a mask or some shit. Ten percent cheaper army maintenance. Yeah, okay. Goodbye, Okinawa. I'll take all your cash too. Lovely. Yeah, lower that autonomy. With six development, I don't think they can spawn 13,000 troops, so we should be fine. Lower the funding. Ryukyu and Separatists. Oh no! Not the Ryukyu and Separatists. No! Now you've done it. 19 states, huh? Let's see, what territory wants to be a state? Outer Mongolia is 19 development. Hokkaido is 18 development. And there aren't really that good ones out there. Like, we have some states... We have some states with some good development. 62, 88, 50, 53, 60, and 110 in Jilin. It's a nice development. Alright, core that shit. Hurry up and die, Mongolia, so I can vassalize Ning... I'm gonna lock a diplomat there so I don't forget. Also, we were looking at getting an alliance with Pasai, so let's go diplomat down there. Five years till we can declare on Wu. Just keep keep them there. So the Ottomans lost a bunch of the Balkans. They still kept Greece. Spain found slaves, good for you. Yeah, the Ottomans are kind of they're moving quickly to the Mesopotamia region, but they're moving slowly through the Mamluks. Don't they have missions for that? Southern Greece. Oh, he has a mission for this province. Okay. And they have no allies. Why aren't you... Like, what's what's holding you up? They have no allies. That's your mission. Do it. The AI is terrible at missions. Just terrible. You want to see the culture groups up there? Culture groups. Okay, well, you can see the groups of cultures. There's the Japanese group. This is the Chinese group. It's a huge culture group. What group is this called?
It's the Berman culture group. Okay. Culture, Berman group. Interesting. And what group is this? The Thai culture group. Really? Southern China has a Thai group. Interesting. Didn't know that. This is the Mon Khmer. So Vietnamese, Burmese, and Cambodian are the same culture group. Okay. Indonesian culture. Malaysian culture group. Okay. Cores up here are done. Get her done. So how's the Shun versus Yarkand war going? Yarkand is winning. All right, go Yarkand. We're almost done with Mongolia. What's this? No, you can't have a marriage. Get out of here. Marriage. Blech. Blech. Yeah, go Yarkand. Look at him go. Wow, Chom has a nice general, a 3-4. Zazao is westernizing. Molly, did you westernize? Fuck yeah, you did. Molly is western. Wow. Good job, Molly. So he's going to control western Africa. No one's going to challenge that guy. He's huge. And he's western. Chill, are you western? I don't think so. No. Kilwa? Nope. Ottomans, did you westernize? No, you did not. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Kind of surprising. Oh, Portugal just annexed Galicia. Apparently that was his vassal. Wait, why are you, Why do you hate me? Portugal hates me. Why? They want your land. He wants 60 provinces. Just 60. Don't worry. It's only 60 provinces. Spain even more. Wow. Well, I think an alliance with France would be a good idea to keep them in check. So I'll do that. I can get an alliance with France at some point. We, when we can both rival Spain, then we can get an alliance with France. Same idea as Pasai, right? We both rival Bengal. He just needs to change from neutral. Why is X Nation so big? Well, X Nation conquered his neighbors, therefore he is big. That's a silly question to ask. <laughs> Why is Tabaristan big? Why is Genoa big? Why is Muscom Why is Commonwealth big? Because they conquered nations. They took land. Why is Yemen big? They took land. Why do you think they're big? <laughs> Alright, we have some cash on hand. Let's go ahead and upgrade our trade fleet. go. And now, with these 500 ducats, I will build... No, I don't want a textile. I want weapons manufactories. Weapons! Weapons! Morocco is bankrupt. Poor Morocco. Yeah, Shun is just hiding. He is legit hiding. Wow, he's tech 14. He has good tech. Yeah, he's ahead of Yarkand on tech. Alright, I'm going to pay off our loans. Or not our loans, I'm going to pay off our corruption. We got to get this shit down. Because you get corruption every time you annex stuff. So I might as well pay it off while I'm in peace. Core is coming along just fine.
Oh, more ideas? Uh, sure, let's go ahead and finish this off. Okay, so we have 20% or 10% more production our entire nation. We get less development cost. We gained infantry combat ability plus 10% and national tax plus 10%. So that was a huge idea. When you finish your first three ideas, you finish your national ideas as well. It makes a big difference if the national ideas uh, have a large impact, like 10% national tax is pretty amazing because we make the most of our money on tax. Kyoto, you have a temple, okay. Inflation's at 3% and dropping. There's where the economic ideas are strong. Inflation's dropping even without an inflation advisor. And two gold mines. All right, Mongolia is at 96%. Should finish about a year from now. It's too bad he lost those two provinces, but eh, whatever. Yarkand would join. You know, if Yarkand would say no, then I would go just to get those two provinces. Maybe I should fight Yarkand right now. It's not like I'm doing anything else. Yarkin, what troops do you have? Like, how many? 21,000 with no manpower? Oh, that's nothing. And Oirat? 12,000. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it, let's go. Get a little bit of land for Mongolia before we're done here. Actually, it's not going to matter. Why did I do that? It's not going to matter because he's going to be a next before we're before the war's over. Eh, whatever. So Shun lost some land to Yarkand. Okay. Shu, you wanted my war? Sure you do. Come on in, Shu. Yeah, there was no point to do that. Because we're not going to finish the war in a year, and that's when he finishes the next thing. I could have done it two years ago, it'd be fine. Battle in the mountains. Looks good to me. Put me in, coach. Core is done. Let's convert it. Yeah, if I'd done this two years ago, we'd be fine. But I think at this rate, we're not going to get anything. Let's white piece out or something. I don't know. I guess I could just vassalize Oirat. It's fine. No, because I don't want a vassal. No, maybe we can maybe we can get through this war quickly. This fort's at zero percent already. Got to be super quick though. What the what the fuck? Ning just vassalized to Wu. All right, well fuck that plan. I was gonna vassalize you. Oh well. Rip that idea. Maybe I vassalize Wu or Chu or she. She would vassalize. Do you have any more cores? No. Hmm.
I don't know, man. That sucks that Wu vassalized him peacefully. Alright, let me try Meow. Truce is up with Wu in like three years anyway. Yeah, press F to pay respects to that idea, no shit. There goes that fort. Let's get the target province siege down. Should be a crush. Yeah. Hey, free stability. And missionary strength plus two. I like it. About to get rebels in Ryukyu. That's fine. I should move my general down there, though. We are allies, Wu. Meow and Min. Okay, it's fine. Turn these check marks off. Set vassals to aggressive. This should give us ticking war score. gonna next in five months. Gross. I gotta peace out in five months. I ain't got time for this shit. Ooh. Base tax all over the place. Look at that shit. Beautiful. That's why you give lands to the merchant guilds. <laughs> we just got so much more base tax for free. Well, for money. It's essentially free. Let's uh, see if we can peace out. He, what? He'll take a white piece, but that's it. And he'll do that. Okay, well, that's probably fine. Let's see if we get this siege here at 14%. Oh, that siege fell. Nice. No? Why not? Seventy-five out of seventy-nine. So close. Wait, where are your cores? Doesn't matter. I 
I definitely want the cores. The rest I don't care. I'll just do the cores. Fuck the rest. Oh. Oh, whoops. So in the Grant Province interface, you're supposed to be able to click on the province to give it away. But that doesn't work. So Grant... Ulias... Dadi, that one. That's your core. And Edgen. I don't know why you can't do it by clicking on the province. Like, how fucking complicated can that be? Alright. Excellent job. Back to China. Spawn, you little bastards. Nope, still no spawn. 14% revolt risk. Actually, what if it converts before they spawn? Then I don't think they're going to spawn at all. Noble Families Feud. Fight Rebels. Get Autonomy and Aki. Or, not just get Autonomy and Aki. It's in Japan. I don't want to send troops over there. Autonomy in one province doesn't bother me. There you go, it's converted. So the revolt risk should go down to like zero now. Awesome. Four percent. And if we just chill here, I think that's gonna go away. No, they'll probably spawn. Four percent chance to spawn every year, they'll spawn. Wu has declared on Xi. Uh, when's my truce up? June. June, my truce is up. Alright, let's get our troops ready. The fuck down here. Are we over our naval force limit? No, we're at the force limit. But we're way under our military force limit. Let's build... Two more cav and 13 more soldiers. Still have manpower? Yeah, okay, we're good. Does Wu have manpower? It's got a little bit. Allied to Meow and Min, and he has Ning as a vassal. Okay. I might just take over his vassal in the war. No, it's going to be too expensive. So there's no reason for relations here. Let's go back to building our spy network in Wu. We're at zero. Okay, we'll get there. Come on, Rebels, spawn. There we go. Just in time for a war. Perfect. 7,600 Rebels. Ah, get wrecked. Province supply limit 52. Wow. 52 supply limit there. China has 55. A little bit better. We're going to do a big group merge here. Merge and split. Hey, the first circumnavigation for France. Congratulations. It's actually an achievement for that, and I've never done it. Never been first. It's always like Norway or some shit. Because the AI doesn't get um, attrition when they do it. But the player does. 
Do you think Wu is suspicious yet? He should be. Come on, I want my truce to be over. You know what? We're going to have to save this for the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Shen. You've been you. We got Mongolia, his two cores back. Took some money from Oirat. And now we're going to declare on Wu for the second war between Korea and Wu. We'll see you next time. Have a good day.